Guys, this is just the fundamentals or an introduction to transitions. This is just a graphic that I have drawn here of just what I see, what people do on the range with their transitions and how we can start to make them better. This is not the end all be all. There are different ways to do it. But if you're just starting out and want to know how to go from target to target, let's talk about it. Basically what we got here on this top version here is what I call the flat line or asystole uh, way of transitioning the gun. This is something that you see very common with people that are learning it. Basically what you have here is the target in the center of the target. What people will do is shoot, the gun goes bang, comes back down, gun goes bang, it comes back down. Even though they're shooting, for example, two shots, they took three sight pictures on this one target. The eyes and muzzle right here, this is done on purpose. What happens is, this is where people are generally not very confident in finding their front sight or finding their dot again. And so they track the eyes and muzzle together. It's what I call the Titanic effect. I've got you, Jack. I'm never letting go. They hang on to this. They hang on to their sights because they're worried that they can't find them again as they're going to the next target. So what happens is they follow their eyes and muzzle stay together. They go to the next target. And once again, the process simply repeats itself. One, two, three sight pictures. There you go. One, two, three sight pictures. Stuff that you see a lot at USPSA of a three target array. What we want to start to think about at least, this is again not the end all be all, is what we call the bump or a skip line, which is a much more efficient way to transition the gun. What you need to do is get your eyes on the target and get your eyes off of your sights or your dot. Don't get sucked into the dot. So what is happening here again, you see the eyes at the target right here. So again, the gun will go bang, bang. As the gun is under recoil, what should happen is your eyes go to the next target and your muzzle is up here somewhere. The eyes go to the target before the muzzle. This line being a straight solid line to be done on purpose because you're using that recoil to allow the gun to come to where the eyes are already looking. Again, the eyes simply repeat, bang, bang. They jump to the next target and the muzzle flows in appropriately from there. That is simply the, not the way to do things, but that is a much more efficient way to do things. We need to think about sooner, not faster. All right, so basically what we've got here is what does your sight do? It's just something that you need to think about in regards to what happens to your sights under recoil. Is it that flat line transition here? Does it do something like this where you're shooting and then you're dragging the gun off under recoil and then letting it come back in? Or as you can see here, you probably can't see on camera, but there's a small little flat line here and you're trying to rip the gun off as the gun comes under recoil and come back down there. What do you think is gonna be the most efficient way to transition your gun as the sight moves or as you track your sights?